Here's the low-fat craze, okay? Took America and the world by storm because the content of low-fat home-cooked food that you cook by yourself in your house, you can control the content of fat, okay? But when you process it, low-fat processed food, it tastes like cardboard. It tastes like crap, okay? So the food companies knew that, so what did they do? They had to make it palatable. So how do you make it something palatable that has no fat in it? You add the sugar, right? So everybody remember snack wells? Okay, so two grams of fat down, 13 grams of carbohydrate up, four of them being sugars so that it was palatable, okay? Well, we've just shown you that that's the worst thing you could do, and that's what we've done, and we're still doing it today. So when you find a mistake, what do you do? Okay. You admit the mistake and you right the ship. We haven't admitted the mistake and we haven't righted the ship. So we've had our food supply adulterated, contaminated, poisoned, tainted, okay, on purpose. And we've allowed it and we've let it through the addition of fructose for palatability, especially because of the decreased fat, and also as a ostensibly browning agent which actually has its own issues, because why it browns so well with the sugar in it actually is what's going on in your arteries, because that's causing what we call protein glycation and cross-linking, which is actually contributing to atherosclerosis. So it works on your steak on the grill, it works in your arteries the same way. Okay, and removal of fiber also. Now why did we remove fiber from our diet? We as human beings walking the earth 50,000 years ago, used to consume 100 to 300 grams of fiber per day. We, we now consume 12. Why? What did we do? We took the fiber out. So why did we take the fiber out? Well, it takes too long to cook, takes too long to eat, and shelf life, okay? So the, people ask me, what's the definition of fast food? Fiberless food, okay? I dare you, other than a salad, I dare you to go to any fast food restaurant and find anything on their menu that they actually have to cook that has more than one gram of fiber in it, because there isn't any, and that's on purpose, because they take the fiber out, because that way they can freeze it, ship it around the world, and cook it up fast, and not only is it fast cooking, but it's fast eaten, which also causes its own satiety issues. Bottom line, we have a typhoon on our hands, okay? And then finally, the last issue was the substitution of trans fats, which are clearly a disaster, but those have been going down because we know that those are a problem. So we've gotten, actually gotten rid of most trans fats, not completely, but most, okay? So this is it. This is what we've done over the last 30 years.